Now here we got ourselves a quality tractor supply trailer made right here in America, uh, in China. So I'm going to show you the work I had done by a quality American welder to fix this giant piece of shit. Now when you get the trailer, the first thing it's going to want to do is try to fall apart. So you're going to want to reinforce it here by welding the tongue, weld some angle iron here, here, and here. Another addition is a steel plate here so the kickstand doesn't go through the floor. Now the geniuses that designed this trailer made it so that you can't remove the ramp. So have the welder put some new bolts on there so that you can remove the ramp and now you don't have a ramp. What do we do? You get a ramp. Alright, now that we got the ramp set up, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to load a motorcycle like a boss. Step one, get a motorcycle. Step three, I mean, step two, line the motorcycle up with the ramp so you don't look like a giant idiot knocking the bike over because you didn't line it up with the ramp. I mean, come on, it's on YouTube all the time. Like, they just don't think ahead and, and think like, okay, this might fall. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're not a little girl and can handle a 430-pound motorcycle. All right, it looks like we're gonna go have some momentum going to uh, go ahead and get it up the ramp. Riding a motorcycle is dangerous, so you're gonna wanna put on some safety gear. But don't forget, everyone that sees you in full leathers thinks that you're just trying to be cool and isn't thinking that you're trying to just avoid losing your skin in the event of a wreck. With video, we have magic to show how quickly you put on safety gear. Let's see that in instant replay. Step eight, now that that's handled, it's time to put away the ramp and secure the bike. All right, this is the most important part. How do we secure a motorcycle on a trailer without having a heart attack almost every bump we hit when we're driving it down the road? You go ahead and go to pitbull.com and purchase one of these. What it does is it bolts to your swing arm and it bolts to this plate that I installed on the trailer. So what happens is these pins slide into here and lock into your swing arm like this. Shazam! Go ahead and do that on the other side. Shazam! Okay, so now what? We got the mount on there. Here's what we need to do. Take the bike Tilt it over like this, see if it lines up. If it doesn't, you're gonna move the bike slightly over. We did too far. Lean it over again, roll it back a little bit, and it locks in. Anytime you strap anything down to a trailer, it's a good idea to perform what I call a Mark Smith earthquake test. Yeah. 
Now we're good to roll. Oh, yeah.